SnapTap can be added to any keyboard relatively easily. I'll show you how to add it in Just CS2 and how to add it to your keyboard for use on other games. Both methods take about two minutes to do, and you can skip to either one. For CS2, open Steam, right click on CS2, manage, browse local files. Then go to game, CSGO, then CFG. If you already have an auto exec CFG, open it. If you don't, right click some empty space, go to new, and then text document. Then you want to name this text document auto exec, and then you want to name the dot part CFG. Open it up, go to the description, and copy and paste the commands here. This will also desub tick your movement, which will make you happier and have consistent movement. Then from this point, SnapTap should work in only CS2. And to test it, start holding D, then press A, and you'll notice that you'll start moving left instead of just staying still. And then when you let go of A, you'll immediately start moving right again. To add SnapTap to your PC, go to the description and download both Auto Hotkey V2, and you want to download this null movement script by going to these three dots and then hit download. Go to your downloads file, then go to Auto Hotkey Setup and install it. Once you're done installing the hotkey, double click the null movement bind, and then it should put this H on it, and then you should be done. If you want to check that it's working, Go to your hidden icons and look for this green H down here and you might need to click the arrow to make sure that you see it. Then you want to right click it, open, and you should see here that the null movement bind is persistent which means that it's working. You should only have one of these active at a time but you should notice that your movement won't stop if you press both keys at once. It will now go off at the last key you pressed, meaning that if you hold D and then just tap A you'll have perfect counter strafe. It doesn't eliminate counter strafing, it just makes it slightly easier if you don't have good counter strafing in the first place. But you still need to have good aim. Make sure that you shoot after you counter strafe and stay completely still. You should be okay using these in everything except competitions. For those, you'll need to check with your tournament organizer whether it's allowed or not. I personally think we need consistency for competitive games. If we're allowing snap tap, it should be an in-game feature for you to turn on and off rather than something you need to implement yourself. As the average player base for most games is going to think you need to buy the Razer or Wooting keyboard to do this, and the game should be as similar between the competitive and casual scene so that casual players get the same experience playing the game. What do you think of SnapTap and its impact on the competitive gaming scene? I think that Rapid Trigger is a bigger issue, but what do you guys think? I'd love to hear what you have to say. If this video helped you at all, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.